Another fantastic crowd on hand today for exciting action from the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series. We will move straight forward. This is Chad Musil. Uh, Chad out of Kansas, man hammered down with the two-wheel drive, 6,200 pounds of raw blown V8 horsepower. Front end up in the air. He is going to start this show off fantastic. Flag going to fly on him. We're going to get the first pull at 288.87. In the heart of the Midwest, there's a band of modern day marauders. Mounted atop their beasts, they line up to throw down. They are outlaws. From Rock Valley, Iowa, welcome to Thunder in the Valley and the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series. Hello everyone, I'm Claude Wood along with Dave Bennett, our expert analyst, and Rick Carlson in the pits. We have a lot of exciting action coming your way today. Today's class is the two-wheel drive. We will have the Super Farm, the Light Limited Pro Stock Tractors, and Pro Stock Semis. All exciting action coming at ya. Let's get back to the action from our next puller in two-wheel drive. And that will bring up Robert Zaychik. He's in gun smoke. Ah, uh, Mr. Two-Wheel Drive. The boys refer to him a lot. They watch him. Other competitors watch this guy. He's the defending points champion. Reads the dirt well out of Columbus, Texas. Going to take it down. Hear that motor struggling just a little bit? He goes 296.28. A good run from Robert, and he spotted the sled right in the middle of the track, and that is where Troy Warshkow will set up to do business. And the Jeeper Creepers, Jeep body. Troy Warshkow up in the air. Comes from the pulling family of Dad Ron. He used to drive a modified tractor. Oh, way high up in the air. He's not going to like that as he goes. 292.81. Puts him second by three feet. Could have got farther. That'll bring up Dee Polson. Now, here's something interesting. Her husband bought her this truck as a surprise. That's not bad. Oh, man, was he playing suck up right there. Bad company, the name Dee Polson. The lady can hammer down with the best of them. Truck is set up right. Looks like everybody's going to slide over to that right side for some reason. Tractor going to take them that away. 278.65. Well, that'll bring up Andrew Weens. Take a look at this gorgeous truck. Now, this is his first time in competition. Earlier, Rick Carlson talked to him. How many times have you been in Notorious? This will be the first time. It's like when it's warmed up. Have you driven it around the, uh, the pit area at all? Oh, yeah, a little bit around the shop at home, but never on the track. How's he going to do? I think he'll do fine. He's got a little bit of that in his blood. I think he'll be fine. That's cool. Dad should know he won here last night. Dave, let's take a look at the launch. Now, the clutch is operated a little bit differently in this class. It's called a slipper clutch. You actually control the clutch by the RPM of the motor. He's got his RPM way up there. Little light on the starting line. Letting the motor do the talking to him. Oh, yeah, he takes the lead, 297.71. Let's see how Dad like this. The kid did pretty much uh, okay for a start. I, uh, that was a pretty good rookie run, I think, wasn't it? Well, he drove it off. He was smiling, and he's number one right now. I guess those are a good way to start. I think he's also shaking a little right now. It was just awesome. I love to see that when the kids can get in, and we make this a family deal, you know, and that's what it's about. There you go, stand tall, Dad. Well, as Richard Morris gets set to do business, Rick Carlson has some more info on him. Mod two-wheel drive, probably one of my favorite categories. Richard Morris, it looks really neat. What kind of body is that? That is a 46 Willys old steel body. It's not fiberglass. Now, we look up here and see that, but then we look uh, under, that almost looks like an Arius. That is an 8.1 liter Arius. It's a Minor Brothers motor. It's got a DMPE 1471 blower on it. How has your year gone so far? It's been real good. I've, I've aggravated some boys in my class that are looking at me with a one eye because when he gets it right, we're going to be right after him. By trade, Richard is a specialty metal welder, and Dave, that really stands out on this truck. Yeah, he can pretty well weld any kind of material, any kind of metal. Right now he's trying to weld a good pass into this truck. Front ends up in the air. The weights say this end up, but it drifted over to the right. 
Not going to be happy with that all at all. 260.53. Not going to go where you wanted to go to. Yeah, Richard, wasn't everything that you were wanting, but uh, tell us what went on during the run. Well, I had to get, had to stand on the brake, and that just pulls footage off of you, so. And it was fat, but whatever. It is a good run, solid run. I mean, didn't get no footage, but I'm happy with the motor. So. Stay with us when we come back. More exciting two-wheel drive action. Mindy Nelson coming up, and she's going to show the boys how it's done. This coverage of the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association is being brought to you by Will Cross. Good product, good prices, good service. And by Meetus Tire, fit for your job. And by Stop Fire, the world's best fire extinguisher. And by ARP, the world leader in fastener technology. As always, a great crowd on hand today, all set to enjoy the exciting pulling action from the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association. We are looking at Mindy Nelson. Now, Dave, this is an avid sports enthusiast. Oh, yeah, whether it be a ball sport or whether it be a motorsport, she's in it. Her dad, Don, you've seen him in the modified class. He's third and setting third in this class's points right now. She's trying to get points for dad. Goes right straight down the track. A nice, nice pass. She goes third place right now, 293.78. Mindy, how do you feel about your pool that time? Oh, that was a lot better than last night. We put it in first gear, and uh, this is a new motor that we just put in, so I think it made a good run. Broke and busted. This is Randy Wendling, and hopefully he's got it all fixed up today. Yeah, I hope he's not broke and busted anymore. Man farms out of Manchester, Iowa. Letting the motor talk coming off the line, front end skipping just a dab, just kind of like what you like to see. Motor pulled down some RPMs right there. Not going to give him any distance he wants. That horsepower just didn't come to him. 285.62. Bill Oberstee, he is a veteran puller, and he calls it Missouri Gambler. I uh, know gambling here. Easing off that line. Come drove into it. Hear that motor coming to its power. Gambler's not gambling. Ah, oh, something happened. He went down way too fast right there. 286.75. Got a blower belt, that's what happened. Got a blower belt and throwed it all over the track. From a family that has a long history of pulling, this is Craig Nation. Uh, his dad and his uncle pulled for many years in a lot of different sports. He's very comfortable in the wheel standing two wheel drive. And up in the air, he's gonna like this. He definitely is gonna like it. Goes right down there on the side. They quit drifting to the right. He goes 291, 89. Out of Columbus, Texas, this is Cole Zaychek, and it's called Texas Two-Step. That's appropriate. Uh, we seen his dad pull earlier. You talk about a father and son team that can read the track and do good. Got some good ground speed, but drifting over to that left, he, yeah, he's not liking that. You see the hand signal right there. He knew he messed up when he got that far over 293 and 74. Still from Texas, out of Rome, Texas, this is Brian Nelson. He's the uncle of Mindy Nelson. Yeah, the uncle chasing down the knees. Getting a little high on the front end right there, unloading the tires just a bit right there. That motor trying to catch it back up. Going to be a short distance for him at 285 and 55. Not going to be where he wanted to go to at all. Two-wheel drive, final results. We'll find Andrew Weems in first place. He's a first-time competitor, but look at third and fourth. Mindy Nelson by four one hundredths of a foot. Get it going in Super Farm. This is Ryan Frerichs and Dave. He is a hired gun today. Oh yeah, he's doing the driving for Mike Dunclough. You seen that right hand go all the way down, driving it out with the clutch. Smoke is a flying, drifting over to that left side. He'll start the class off with a distance of 306.26. Looks like he'll take that pull, and we are underway. And pulled over to the side of the track. That'll bring up Rodney Dick. We are now into what's called the bracket class. What's that about? A super farm here at Rock Valley where it's put the boys into a bracket. Dream on going down. The first five tractors competing against herself. The winner of those five goes to a final pull-off later on in the show. And he gets a distance, 341.27. That'll be a good mark in this bracket. Rodney, 341, that's a number for everybody to shoot at. 
Yeah, I guess when you're second hook, you got to put something down pretty good. You see this track has a habit of getting better, but we'll see if it holds up. This is Brian Dick out of Windside, Nebraska on One Bad Apple. Uh, this will be the sun now. Dad's probably done told him that the track is getting better. That's one thing about racket pulling. It kind of keeps everybody equal on the same dirt. Dad and son, One Bad Apple. Makes one good pull, though. Going to be, looks like he's going to, yeah, he's going to be on the bubble. He goes 339-31. He's going to be riding the bubble. Chad Weisenkamp on someday. Dave, let's take a look at this launch. Now, the theory is, is it hammered down and that builds up the turbocharger? You've seen that right hand go forward. Now he uses the clutch to load the turbocharger, and that's where you get your horsepower. Chad Weisenkamp, past champion in this class. Uh, he's also trying to make the shootout. 334.88, he's in a different bracket. Hopefully that'll hold up. Steve Cavan coming up next out of Nebraska. He builds a lot of motors for other drivers. Quite a diesel mechanic he is for those drivers, as well as a driver for Lisa and Kent Moravik. This tractor belongs to them. He does the driving for them. Gets a good feel of the track and the horsepower that he builds. He's trying to put the Moravik tractor into the bracket. Pull off, not going to be there, I don't think. He goes 325.93. Now driving the New Holland Spanky's toy, this is Marky Roberts. Ah, uh, the little lady, her brother drove night before. You notice she had a rough takeoff right there, just too aggressive on the clutch. Really jerked her around. When you don't get good traction on the rear tires on that takeoff, so important, going to hurt you on the other end. 316.09 is the distance she's going to put. Groups are well represented today for exciting pulling action provided by the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association. Still in Super Farm, this is Chad Andrews. Yeah, everybody trying to make that shootout now. All the different brackets. Seems the spark coming out of right in front of those rear tires, sliding that clutch, working the traction. He knows Dad's up behind him. Motor working really good right there. Motor working really good, but it looks like he's going to miss the shootout as he goes 334-47. We're going to keep it green. This is the Dakota Deer. Yeah, the dad, Alan Andrews out of Beersford, South Dakota, runs a pretty good farming operation up there. This man knows what the shootout's all about. He knows his bracket. He's right in there, running the same path that his son just run. Ah, oh, nice, nice. Good distance at 336.05. Here comes the Freedom. This is Tim Delaney. And Dave, all of these tractors seem to be staying right in the center of the track. The track is in very good condition. Uh, the advantage of bracket pulling, you kind of keep everybody on the same type of dirt. Trying to end up on the Freedom tractor. Tim Delaney, Fremont, Nebraska. Making my flagman back up a little bit. That's a good sign. 341.22. 500 short of the longest pull of the night. Let's get an international in here. This is Eric Grone on the Husker Hooker. Out of Wayne, Nebraska. This man knows the boys has put down some awful big numbers in this bracket pulling to get into the shootout. And he's going to work the same path. Everybody working. That motor struggling just a little bit, front end down on the ground. He's going to settle in there at 321 and 58. And that'll bring up Barry Peterson on Never Say Never. Dave, all of these uh, distances are so close. Why is that? Oh, so much so. And these tractors weigh exactly the same. They run exactly the same fuel out of the same barrel, the same water injection, and the same turbo. you got to figure out who can put the power to the ground. Barry Peterson right here with Never Say Never is not going to like that pull. Comes in short at 307 and 61. And that will bring up last night's winning tractor. But Dave, this is a different driver. What's up with that? Uh, partnership tractor, three guys. Barry Aberhall's doing the driving tonight. Kirk Hoima and Dave Roseboom also in on the tractor. Trying to be double repeat, hometown favorite winning tractor. A little heavy on the front, coming down on the motor right there. Going to be a disappointing run for the hometown favorite, 332-23. A close class indeed, with only five one hundredths of a foot separating first and second place. Five drivers will now advance to the shootout. To get 
light limited pro stock underway. This is Alan Shellam on Constant Chaos. He won yesterday. Can he repeat again? Here he goes, letting the clutch out. Here comes the black smoke. And take a look as he goes down the track. He uses a good part of the track, pulled over to the left, and he will go 329.96 feet. Going to go into the international line right now. The crazy eight out of Dunlop, Iowa, Danny Grody. And Dave, he has got the slid marked over on the right-hand side. Yeah, moved it over a little bit. The boys like to split the tracks of the previous tractors. They don't, don't like to get down in the ruts. Lays it in right there. Going to get a distance of 317.91. Going to be short, short, but got to go somewhere. Brady Goslar, he calls it spare time. Old style hood, we mentioned that once before. See the spark coming out of the clutch. These boys are working. These clutches hard here tonight. The John Deere power, the old style body. Once again, kind of dancing around on the track. That little zigzag always costs you just a little dab. And he's going to move in there. Going to be a decent distance at 320 and 17. Brady, not all you wanted, but uh, that was a good looking pull. Uh, it's a good pass. Hopefully it holds up here. We can come away with a second or third and uh, stay right in the points hunt here. Stay with us. More Smoking Outlaws coming up. This coverage of the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pull Association is being brought to you by Riggins Ag Equipment. Spray it or spread it, we have what you need. And by Kaiser Wheels, we expect the results you dream about. And by Extreme Performance Tire Cutting, be supreme by extreme. And by Hearst, America's number one shifter. Come early if you want a good seat at any of the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling events. Keeping the action going, this is Travis Steen, and he is on Big Red. Dave, take a look at the skids on the front between the wheels. What is the purpose of this? Once again, safety devices. You drop a tractor pretty hard, you lose his traction or whatever and drops, you break a front spindle. Those skis, or skids, whichever way you want to call it, keep the tractor from digging into the track. Man on the big red tractor goes 318.86. That'll bring up Forever Red, driven by Jerry Hannigan. The Hannigan tractor got some good ones to shoot at right here. A lot of distance in front of him. Sliding that clutch a long ways out of the hole, trying to keep that horsepower up. Hear that motor going down. Maybe been in the wrong gear. He might have wished he was in a lower gear and that is he's going to get the distance of 308 and 93. Our final puller in the class is Eric Clark and he is on Rackham. Ah, oh, the Rackham tractor. As I mentioned before, this is one of the guys to keep an eye on. The green tractor can chase down the red, trying to act like Vizine take the red out. Shooting for that number one spot, digging in. Oh, got underneath the turbo. Not enough pressure to keep it turning. Going to go second place at 323.31. Light Limited Pro Stock. Final results. Alan Shellam firmly in first place. John Deere well represented. One, two, and three. Super Farm. And Dave, this is the shootout. We'll just dream on a little bit. Oh, yeah, the five boys, they come down to this. They won their bracket and they won the lucky dog. Which one now can be the best at the Outlaw shootout? Rodney Deck, Winside, Nebraska. Once again, making that flagman back up. He don't wanna like to start off with that. 351-51, beat that, boys. Boy, did he set a mark to beat. Well, there's the challenge for Chad Weisenkamp. He throwed that right hand forward with determination. You've seen that throttle hand go forward hard. He's shooting at him, he's got all the guns out. Flagman walking towards you, that's a bad sign. 342.39. Will not get the job done. We'll see if Alan Andrews can. He's on the Dakota Deer. Moved over to the right just a little bit. Tried to split those tracks. Front end bouncing just a little. Motors are humming. Over to the right. Going to lay it in there. Disappointing distance. 332 and 90. Not going to go to the top. 
that'll bring up Freedom, driven by Tim Delaney. And you'll notice that most of these drivers do not bounce that front end. They've got that balance set pretty well. Uh, no bounce. They don't want no bounce at all. Smooth. Shootout is on big time. Front wheels just skipping through the breeze right down there next. You're bumping right up next to him, 342.39. Well, let's see if Brian Deck can get the job done on one bad apple. Well, he knows Dad is setting in first place, and boy, is he going to shoot at him. These tractors can get right in there, the one bad apple. Going to come in, guns a blazing, four runners in front of him. Moved over to the left, and not going to do it, 322.97. In the Super Farm shootout, Rodney Deck gunned down the competition, winning by over nine feet. Job well done. Pro Stock, semi-action, bully reloaded. This is Jason Clawson. Now, Jason used to run modified tractors, two-wheel drives, now sets an 18,000 pounds Pro Stock semi. 3406 cat hammered hard, flag flies, 383 and 12. Well, they're still trying to figure out how to measure it. That was just an all-out excellent pull. Yeah, it's all for the fans. That's why we do it. And, of course, we love it, too. So That's Jason's son, Garrett, photobombing dead. Here's Doug Ortwich. He's the defending champion. Defending champion in the big semi-class coming down the right side. Whoa, look out, Leroy. Something broke maybe in the rear end. Don't know what took place. He went to the right. Troy Anderson, this is his first pull with the Outlaws. Uh, he's got this 1978 Peterbilt running. Going over to the left, hang on. Whoa, look out, way to the right. He takes it plumb out the gate. Troy, that was a, like, full pull plus, and it was exciting at the end coming over to us. I haven't seen anything like that in a long time. <laughs> well, thank you. I don't know. We just got her together. Uh, didn't know how I was going to run, and I guess everything worked out pretty good. It was standing room only for the crowds in Rock Valley, Iowa, and that will put a wrap on two full days of exciting pulling action for Dave Bennett and Rick Carlson. So long, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Series.